so uh, dear Sabrina and Roberto, you have visited uh, Lviv State University of Life Statistics in the framework of international project internalization of higher education, and uh, you have provided us a very fruitful workshops on flipped uh, learning and active learning and pedagogical leadership. So we have uh, so many participants from uh, 25 Ukrainian universities, mm. more than mm. 95 project applications, and really a lot of people could attend these workshops. So how do you think what was uh, the success in these workshops and what results we really achieved as a result of these workshops? Maybe you will start. Oh, you want me to start? Okay. <laughs> well, it was it was first of all a very pleasant experience. Um, we were impressed with people's level of English, but more than that, we were impressed with the um, organization, but also impressed with the fact that people really were engaged mm -hmm. in uh, uh, in the discussions, and the fact that people came from so many universities including your own university, was a plus because this means that all the things that we discussed over the last three days are going to be cascaded in other, in other universities, which is what we want because practice about learning and teaching has to be cascaded and this is the way to do it. So I personally was extremely pleased and I want to thank the university as well for the wonderful organisation of this. Thank you. Maybe you have some questions. Uh, I will corroborate what um, Roberta's um, uh, input. Uh, I think I was extremely uh, uh, pleasantly surprised by the um, the fact that uh, a lot of the the lecturers and teachers who came to the session um, were already implementing some of that the principles of active learning. Um, and they all had a, a certain idea about what to do with it in the future. And it was this particular um, wish to, to improve practice and enhance their practice. Um, and I thought they may have, or we might have had very different practices, and we, we do have different spheres of context, and yeah. um, etc. But I, I was very surprised that actually we've got much more in common than, 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 I, than I had expected. And we ended up having conversations with colleagues, um, as opposed to having a session when you have learners and teachers. So it was very, very much an exchange of experiences and, and, and finding commonalities and seeing how you know, we can perhaps cooperate in, in, in the future in, in, in many ways in, in trying to enhance learning uh, for the benefit of our learners. And uh, how do you think what uh, can be the maybe future results for further cooperation in uh, the framework of this project or maybe other projects? <coughs> I think that <coughs> because you've got, first of all, I think what you need is to improve the English language skills of most staff. Because for, mo for your staff to take part in these projects and the good ones, they need to actually mm -hmm. speak English because we don't speak, we don't speak Ukrainian, unfortunately. Apart from this, I think that you've got to start creating a group of excellent practitioners who become the ones, the champions, that bring forward the messages about learning and teaching. You need to do this, but you need also your management, your senior management, to support these people. Because there are so many contrasting forces within a university that senior management is key in this. So my only advice to you, because it's already obviously a very good and very well-functioning university, is mm -hmm. to increase the level of engagement in learning and teaching and give it more status as well. Mm -hmm. And give the people who actually are the champions the possibility to express themselves a little bit more. Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. It's the identification of... Um, of very good practitioners, and obviously the, the uh, participants um, tended to be interested in, in the topic, and that's one of the reasons why they were there in the first yeah. place. Um, but it's about doing something about what they're doing, so what are they doing well, why, how can be uh, uh, cascaded um, uh, to, to other practices um, and, and other colleagues. And I think it's not losing what is being done well within the university and how that can be adapted in other contexts. And I would also say that you know, our participation here was great, but it cannot be 
just the only participation. It has to be a series of things, because to talk about active learning, but then not to talk about active learning in assessment, feedback, curriculum design, mm -hmm. it's a lost opportunity. So I really hope, and we will recommend this in, uh, in our university, I, I, we really hope that we can continue the collaboration later on, so that all these other areas can be covered as well. Thanks. Thanks for your interview. Thank, thank you very, very much. much and thank you thank for you. your